Hello everyone and welcome back to a voice for the missing. My name is Grace. If you would like to submit a case for me, please go to my new website, a voice for the missing.net and click on the case submissions link where you can put your name, phone number and tell me about the case that you would like me to cover and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And let's get let's get into this week's episode. This week's episode is on the disappearance of Gary Messiahs. Gary and his group of friends were from Yuba City, California, with mental disabilities. Who attended a college basketball game at California State University, which was in Chico. On the night of February twenty fourth, nineteen seventy eight, four of them, Mel Sterling, age twenty nine, Jack Hewitt, age 24, Ted Mir, age 32, and Jack Maduba, age 30, were later found dead. The fifth, Gary Mathias, age 25, has never been found. Several days after their initial disappearance, the group's car was found abandoned in the remote area of Lomas National Forest on the high mountain dirt road far out of their way back to Yuba City. Investigators could not determine why the car was abandoned as it was in good working order and could easily have been pushed out of its snowpack. At that time, no trace of the men were found, was found. After the snow had melted in, after the snow had melted in June 1978, four men's bodies were found in and near a trailer camp used by backpackers and shelter deep in the forest, 20 miles from the car, which was 20 miles from the car. Only bones were left of the three bodies in the woods, a result of scavenging animals. But the one in the trailer, Ted Rhea, had lived for as long as three months after the men were last seen. They were starving to death despite an ample supply of food and heating materials materials nearby. Rhea was missing his shoes and the investigators found Matthias's shoes in the nearby woods, suggesting Matthias also survived for some time beyond the last night he was seen alive. A witness later came forward, uh, which was a local man who said he had spent the night, the same night, in his car, a short distance from where the Matilda. Martino was found uh, after having a mild heart attack, trying to push it out of the snow. This witness told police that he had seen and heard people around the car that night and twice called for help, only for them to go silent and turn off their flashlights. This and the considerable distance from the vehicle to where the bodies were found has led to suspicion of foul play. While stationed in West Germany as part of his United States Army service in the early 1970s, Gary Mathias, a native of Yuba City, California, developed drug problems. This eventually led to him being diagnosed with schizophrenia and being psychiatrically discharged. Matthias returned to his parents' home in California and began treatment at a local psychiatric hospital. While it was, while it had been difficult at first, he was nearly, nearly arrested for assault twice and often experienced psychotic episodes that landed him in the local women's hospital. By 1978, Matthias was being treated on an outpatient basis with 
Stasin and Cogn Cognitin. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. His physicians considered him to be one of their sterling success cases. Matthias supplemented supplemented his army disability pay by working in his stepfather's gardening business. Off the job, outside of his family, he was close friends with four slightly older men who either had slight intellectual disabilities, which were sterling in Hewitt, or were in- informally considered slow learners, which was rare and Majuga, also an army veteran. The men lived in Yuba City and nearby Marysville, like Matthias. Each man lived with his parents, all of whom referred to them collectively as the boys. The five men's favorite leisure activity was sports. Their family said that whenever they got together, it was usually to play a game or to watch one. They played basketball together on a team called the, G- the Gateway Gators, which is a local program for people with mental disabilities supporting this team. On February 21st, the Gators were due to play their first game in a week long tournament sponsored by the Special Olympics for which the winners were given a free week in Los Angeles. The five men had prepared the, prepared the night before, some even laying out their uniforms and asking their parents to wake them up on time. They decided to drive to Chico that night to cheer on the UC Davis basketball team in an away game against Chico State. Maduga, Maduga, the only group member besides Matthias with a driver's license, drove the group 50 miles, which is 80 kilometers north to Chico, in his turquoise and white 1969 Mercury Montego. After the Davis team, one day, the five friends got back into Madura's car and drove a short distance from the Chico State campus to Bears Market in downtown Chico. There, they bought snacks along with sodas and cartons of milk to drink. It was shortly before the store's 10 p.m. closing time. The clerk, the clerk later remembered the men, because she was annoyed that such a large group had come in and delayed her from beginning the procedure of closing the store for the night. None of the men were seen alive again after that point. At their homes, some of their parents stayed up to make sure they, could, they returned. Uh, when morning came and they had not, the police were notified. Police in Ruth, Ruth and Yuba counties began searching along the route the men took to Chico. They found no sign of them, but a few days later, a Plumas National Forest Ranger told investigators that he had seen the Montego off the long Waldo Quincy Road in the forest on February 25th. I generally sympathize with the families who lost their loved ones due to whatever transpired on that awful day. I don't know if Mr. Matthias will ever be found, but I don't think he will be found alive after so many years. For the families involved in the disappearance and deaths of the five friends, please know that my thoughts and prayers go out to each one of you. 
If you have any information regarding Gary Mathias' disappearance, please contact the Yuba County Sheriff's, De Sheriff's Department at 530-749-7777. Until next week, God bless and be kind to one another. Again, the Yuba County Sheriff's Department is 530 Seven four nine seven 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 seven. God bless, take care, and have a wonderful week. And just as a reminder, if you would like to submit a case, please go to a voice for the missing dot net and click on the case submissions link. And you will be able to fill out the form. And I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Take care. God bless. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.